Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. In today's video, you will learn how to put your changes aside using the git stash and then bring them back when you need them. Git stash is a very useful feature of Git. I use it every day on my projects in my workflow. It lets me put my changes aside while I need to switch to another branch to check someone else's work or fix a bug and then I can bring back these changes later on when I'm ready to come back to my work. Okay, so think about Git stash as your work in progress. These are changes that are not ready to be committed, but you will need them later. Here is a practical example. You're working on your branch or I'm working on my branch, adding few commits and then I've got few changes. I updated a file, deleted image, added another file and updated style sheet. And these changes are not ready to be committed. So at that moment, I can run git stash to put these changes aside, which will clean up my working directory. And then I'm able to check out another branch and bring back my changes when I come back to it. We will make few changes. We delete a logo. Then inside of the app.js, we will change, we will remove the link and we will also create a new file called text.txt. Okay, so we've got three changes. One file is modified, one is deleted and one is updated. And now someone tells us to move away from this work, go somewhere else and come back to it. We don't wanna of course lose our changes, so we will stash them, git stash. Now we have our changes from the working directory saved in a new stash, and we actually forgot to stash the untracked file. So the text.txt is a new file. We would need to run git stash with the hyphen u to also stash untracked files. Okay, so for now, we'll just keep it as it is, and we'll type in git stash list. Here we have the list of all the stash changes. Okay, at the moment we have only one stash, the index of it is zero and VIP on branch is the name of it. VIP is automatically work in progress. That's how the default name is created and on a branch, which is the branch we're currently working on. And this is the last commit that it relates to. Okay, to escape or to quit, type in colon and Q. And now let's apply the changes from the stash back to our working directory by typing git stash apply and the index of the stash we want to apply. Okay, we've got only one, that's why zero. And if we do that, we see the two changes restored, the modified and deleted file is restored. And we already had the text.txt over there. Let's now do the same thing, git stash, but now we provide the hyphen u to also stash the untracked changes. And now even the new file is put aside. To have a look what's inside of some of the stash, we can type in git stash show. And again, the index, here we have the file changes and we can also specify the git stash show hyphen p. This would show us the changes in the full tree view. Okay, so these are the two commands, stash, stash, stash show zero and stash show with the hyphen P, which stands for patch. So it shows you the whole patched up file. Now let's make one more change. This time we want to save it as a stash, but with a custom message. And for that, we can use the git stash push and hyphen M. And in quotes, we will say the updated text as our message. And now having a look at the stash list, we should see the two stash changes and the first one or the second one with the custom text, okay? So that's why it's useful to type in your own messages just because when you're looking through a lot of stash changes, then you might uh, just scan through the text, the subject, whatever you want to call it and know exactly what changes are inside of it. Now let's have a look how we could create a branch from stash. So we have one stash and we want to create a branch from this. For that we can use git stash 
branch. We will name the branch. I'll call it new branch. And the index of the stash we want to branch off. Okay, now we've switched to a new branch and the changes on it are the stash changes. Okay, pretty cool, pretty handy. So that's how you create a branch from the stash ready to commit. To bring up the latest changes from git stash, you can use git stash pop that will take the last stash you put in and apply to your working directory. So now we should see in the git stash list only one more remaining change. The pop removes it from the list and applies it to your working directory. And to completely clear the list of all stashes, you can use git stash clear. That will get rid of all the stashes in the list and clear everything up. When we look at the git stash list now, we see nothing. Okay, so that's how you working with git stash, how you putting your changes aside. I think I didn't forget anything we've covered how to create a stash how to list all the stashes how to apply them how to show them how to show the changes and also how to drop them how to pop the last one and how to clear them all up okay so hopefully you find this tutorial useful if you did don't forget to smash the like subscribe to the channel so you don't miss all the other cool tutorials and let me know in the comments, are you using Stash or not? I really want to hear from you in the comments. Until next time, happy coding.